Hey everyone, it's Justin Dan here, and in celebration of Halloween, I'm going to do a series of one of my favorite horror games of all time, Resident Evil. Now, this is the HD remastered version of Resident Evil, not the 1996 version, it's the HD remastered version, but still pertains the great horror and the great thrills of Resident Evil. This was actually, this was actually like one of the only games I had when I was little that I was not allowed to play. My parents were the ones who had Resident Evil and were, were play it. I was just saying they are too scared to even look at it. Which is really, really weird, because I was so interested. This is actually one of the first games I actually wanted to learn more about and wanted to know the lore of. But I was, like, just too scared to even go near it. To the point where my, um, I think my parents had the game book of Resident Evil. And I was, like, I would take the book out, hide it in my room so I can, like, look at it at night. I don't know why, but the pictures in the book didn't scare me. But the actual, like, zombies and monsters in the game did. It's very weird. But somebody very, very close to me had this game, loved this game, and actually taught me about this game. And I want to dedicate this series to that person, my mother. She loved Resident Evil. She, um, she, the, she actually taught me about the first game. She actually got me into wanting to learn more about Resident Evil. So I actually want to dedicate this series to her. So any further ado, let's get into this. Resident Evil HD Remastered. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, everybody. And let's go. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. I like. I know a lot about the lore and like the fun facts and all this. Subtitles, yes. Controls. I want to do alternate. I want to try alternate. And subtitles, definitely. Actually, if you guys have any questions on Resident Evil or like the lore or anything, don't just leave it in the comment section. You know, don't be afraid to ask. I'll definitely answer all of them. Uh, like a climb out fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. Um, how do you like your game? Good exercise, but not too strenuous. Um, you see, I don't know which one to choose, because which one's hard and which one's easy? Because I want to go, like, medium. I want, because I played Resident Evil Zero. I did a series on Resident Evil Zero, so I'm kind of familiar with what to do. So, uh, good exercise. You know, I'm going to go with good exercise. I'm going to go with, because I think that looks like the whole normal settings. So, what the fuck? I got steroid, Chris? So, when my mom played this, she loved Jill Valentine. So, in honor of her, I'm going to play as her, as the character that she played as when she did this game. So, I'm going to play as Jill Valentine. Which is actually, if you're just starting out playing Resident Evil and you, like, don't know, like, what to do. Or, like, you're just starting out with Resident Evil. Jill Valentine is the best character to go to. Because she has, like, the better guns, the easier story, I think. Even though that she, I think she takes less damage than Chris, but she has like better guns and all that. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their Chris, mission. You found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre yeah, murder cases have recently point. occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare.
this way. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Dining room. Oh, geez, now finally we get to play. Okay, so guys, a little fun fact is that what? The oh, I can do a 50 turn. A little fun fact is that the original scene of that scared the living. Well, actually, the very first time I was actually legit like had nightmares. I think you better take a look at this because the original is it? um scene of that where like they're running through the forest and like the first time they see like the zombie dogs right. and all that. That was actually done by live action actors. Jill. Now that wasn't done like by like, CGI or anything. That was actually like, actual like actors be doing that. This. And that scared the living shit out of me because that was the first Chris's. time I have ever seen like something something like that. Like some, some first time I've ever seen live action actors get killed in a video game or like anything like getting eaten alive. Like that was the first time I've ever seen that. It scared the living daylights out of me. I was like, what the I thought, because I loved little, I thought it was real. I thought that anything that was live action was real. And when I saw all of that, it scared the daylights out of me. I was like, what the fuck? Zombie zombie, eat the fuck out of me, what the fuck is real? Okay then. Okay, so that, okay, we still, so we saved. But, hold up, wait, wrong right button, wrong button. Okay, so we still have the ink ribbon. I don't know when we're gonna get to the item box, but I'm just gonna keep it in there just in case. So, I know what happened. Oh, yeah, don't the jail, jail, turn around, turn around. So I kind of, under, I kind of know like what's gonna happen. Like I don't know exactly when it's gonna happen, but I know like the gist of things. Like I know we go here, and then here we meet our, we meet our first zombie here. First zombie here, and he's like eating on somebody. And we get that famous Resident Evil cutscene where he's like, uh, like, oh my gosh. A little tip. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll take the tip right after this. I'll take the tip right after this. Jill, do I smell Jill's sandwich? Okay, little tip, don't shoot him. Make a complete 180 and run out the door. Run to the door. Do not shoot him. You're going to waste bullets. Watch, watch this. You, you, it's really cool. I don't understand. Watch this. Barry! What is it? What is it, Jill? Look out! It's, it's a, a monster! Oh no! It's a monster! I'll handle this! Let me take care of Not it! Not my testosterone take care of it! Oh, uh, testosterone shot! Yeah! I'm the Chris Redfield of this shit. What the hell is this? Yeah, what the fuck? It took three magnum shots to take it down. By this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. You mean the douchebag? Okay, okay, first of all, there are like 50 things wrong with that cutscene. One, Barry, you're sporting a freaking magnum. It took you three fucking shots to take a regular zombie down? Come on, Wesker. It's, I mean, I'm a, pfft. I mean, come on, Barry. It's a fucking magnum. You take at least one or at least maximum two shots to down a regular zombie. Two, what put the testosterone level, dude? Like, like, what was that? Look out! It's a monster! Don't worry, Jill. I'll handle this. Oh, ah, with my magnum! And first of all, with the magnum shooting, why do you fire two consecutive shots, then pause, 
Then fire the third one. Barry, answer this question now. Answer the question or you shall be judged. You know what? No, no, no. It's intimidation time. Answer the question or you shall be knifed. Answer. Answer me, Barry. Answer me. How high is the testosterone level? Are you taking the Chris Redfield steroids? Are you like... I wonder if I shoot this guy. I know he like gets up or something. No? No, okay. No, 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 I keep pressing start and not to go to item screen. What the fuck? Okay. So, don't go through here, because I don't think you can. We we'll have to go back to the to the central dining hall to meet douchebag Wesker. And, as I recall, I think the zombie gets up and leaves, I think. Let me check. Yeah, see, the zombie gets up and leaves. He takes three magnet shots to the dome and just gets up and leaves. He's like, no, Barry, your magnum shots don't do shit against the almighty zombie. Okay, what? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, shit, shit. Yeah, Wesker's gone. We all know why. Heel, heel, hit, hit. Wesker! Wesker! Get your douchebag ass out here! Jill, help me look. Is he gonna say a line? Let's not leave this hall. Oh my gosh, he's gonna say it. Do it, Barry. Say your line. Say your. Oh, wait, wait. Come on, Barry. Say your line. I know that he's. I know that he says, like, one of the most cringiest lines in video game history. Barry. Barry Burton has the most cringiest lines in video game history. Hey. That door is locked. Uh, I think we just go down here. Okay, remember those two are locked. We can't go through there. Uh, I think all we gotta do is literally just go down here. Go right back up. That's literally all we gotta do is this. That's literally all we gotta do. And then he Barry. says his cringy line. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Say it. Okay, say then. It. I'll try the door on the other Barry, side. Barry, say your line. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. Yes, yes, the yeah, mansion. Say your line. Lost. Let's start from the first floor. Yeah, okay. Say your okay. line, Barry. Oh. Here it is, here it is. It's a lock pick. Okay, say it. Come on. You'd make better use of it. No, wait, no, no. <gasps> he did say his line. Thanks. He I did mean, say he... the cringy Listen, original line. Something happens. Let's meet up in this hall. No! Say your line! Okay. Barry, say your cringy line from 1996! No! Okay, so the original Resident Evil voice acting was so bad, it was good. Okay, he said the most cringiest line right there. When he gives Jill the lock, if he plans Jill and he gives her the lockpick, he goes, Here, Jill, you take it. You make better use of it, considering that you're the master of unlocking! <laughs> Master unlocking, and then he says another one, the infamous, the, the infamous Jill sandwich joke. He said that later. I think, I think we say that if we take the shotgun without replacing it with the broken shotgun. I think that's when we get the Jill sandwich. Joke. So as you know, leave it. I got a fun fact for you. I love like Resident Evil trivia. Like I know a lot of cool things about Resident Evil. So did you know that Resident Evil, the original one, the 1996 version, um, do you know that actually won a Guinness Book World Record? It actually broke the world record. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but leave it in the comment section, what world record do you think their risen, original Resident Evil broke? Um, cause you're not, you're, you're, you're slightly going to know, you slightly like, you can slightly see it happening, but it's, that's what's going to use. Okay, a little, okay, okay, map, of, okay, up here you take the map, okay, you don't go in there just yet, don't go into that room just yet, just yet, okay, what you do is, you bring it over here, you get the map, and then you turn around, and then you immediately pull it back, you immediately pull it back. Because in this in the remake, there's something called Crimson Heads. Now, Crimson Heads are mutated zombies. In order to feel a, a counter of Crimson Head, you basically have to kill a zombie. And I think some zombies in the game, even after you kill it, you come back to a zombie like a certain time and become the Crimson Head. These guys are fucking scary as shit. They charge at you, they slash at you, and they have higher defenses. They have a higher defense, higher attack rate. They're like basically enhanced zombies. Now I'll, I'll say you use defensive items on this. Now watch this, ready? I'm, okay, there's a zombie right here, and then I'm gonna try to dodge it. What you do is, you don't kill the zombie. Do not kill the zombie. This is critical. Do not kill the zombie. Dodge around it, or if you can, or if you can't, use an offensive item on him. Watch. Ready? I'm gonna try to dodge. No, no! No! Fuck! Ah! Fuck off me! Son of a bitch! Okay, okay, I, okay, I bro okay. Now what you do is, you jump over, you jump over. Come on, come on, come on, come on, before, it, before it comes up, before it comes back! Then you push this here, push here. Good. Because you, you don't have to go back there. The only thing back there is the defensive bomb. 
Now he's gonna be stuck there. I think he transports into a crimson head. He can't come over that. See, look at him, look at him. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh, you want some of this, huh? You want some of this? Come here, zombie. Come on, come on, little zombie. Come on, come and get Jill. Can I actually knife him? Can I hit him? Can I hit him? No, I can't. I, oh, I can't do it. No, no, she doesn't. Oh no. Okay. So leave him there, and later in the in later in the series, I'll show you a crimson head. Cause he, I know for sure he turns into a crimson head. So just leave him there, and he'll naturally turn to a crimson head. And yeah, you'll see why these guys are fucking scary. Okay. So I think all we would come in here was a freaking sword. Was a freaking map. What that comes in here was a map. Okay. So I think now what we do we have to, we go back to the dining room. I think. Cause I know the other two doors. They're locked. I think. Yeah, I think this door is locked, and that door down there is locked. So, I think we can go up to the second floor, but there's nothing up there. I think there's zombies too, but I don't really, I don't really don't, I don't want to face a zombie just yet, cause I only, I don't have any extra ammo. So I want to find a zombie when I have extra ammo. That is my plan. Okay, okay. Another tip. You see that balcony up there? Yeah, I think there's a zombie in that balcony. There's a zombie in that balcony. When the two have when the two have run each other through past Destiny will open. What the fuck? Uh, okay, that's another puzzle. But uh, see that balcony up there? There is a zombie up there. Do not kill him. That's another zombie you don't want to kill. Because it's easy for you to run around him and he doesn't turn to a crimson uh, I don't think. He doesn't turn to a crimson head, I don't think. I don't think you turn into a crimson head, and he's very, very, very easy to avoid. So don't, don't kill him, it saves you ammo, it saves you everything. So I think if I remember correctly, he has something on him. He has like, I think, I think he has ammo. Of course, Kenneth holding something. Oh no, this film belonged to Kenneth. Need the video players here to record on it. Does he have ammo on him? I remember in the original, in the original Resident Evil, he had ammo on him. Okay, so out here, I think out here is where we go outside, and this is where we get the this game. Yeah, in the original Resident Evil, this is a bazooka. You get, you get a bazooka. I think you get a bazooka as Jill. And you get a flamethrower as Chris. I yeah, you get a flamethrower as Chris and a bazooka as Jill. And you use it very soon because I you don't want to use the bazooka just yet. There's only like one part in the game where you could use the bazooka where you use the bazooka on anything but a boss. I think that's like um Wait a minute, that's it, that's it, that, that dog scene! Oh, I'm not ready for this! No, no, because there's two scenes in this game that honestly scared the shit out of me. And that's that dog scene where the dog bursts through the window out of no- Oh shit, it's on me. Shit, it's on me. Fucking left, fucking left, do it. Two, three, four, ah! Ah, the fuck off me, you little bitch! Ugh. Now you're getting knife. You can fucking knife now. Okay, I don't know, I do not appreciate- Wait, did I kill him? Is he dead? Is he dead? Oh fuck yeah, he's dead! Okay, cool! I, I thought the defensive item just, um, got him. I didn't know I killed him, I thought I just got him off you. I thought the defensive item just came off you. It's locked, emblem off. Okay, so I definitely need the emblem shit. I definitely need that shit. What the? There's an elevator here. It doesn't look like it can be accessed from the floor. Oh, fuck, okay, so the plan here. I, 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 don't have a plan. I don't have a plan, actually. I honestly don't have a plan for this. I don't have, like, a. It's locked. Emblem sword. Okay, so the only thing we can do is go up. That's the only thing we can do is go up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make this part a little like longer than usual. Cause I always want to make my first parts a little bit longer than usual, just so you guys can get a feel of the game. And just yeah, okay, so lock them outside. That one's that one's like go bring back to the dining room. Okay, so I think yeah, this is the only place that we can go now. This is the only place that we can go now. Is that place? And I think is there a zombie? Up there? I want to say. No, I don't think there's a zombie up there. I don't. I don't think there is. I don't think there's a zombie up here. Yeah, no, no. Uh, does he come to life? The corpse. Yeah, I don't think it comes. No, cause I can walk through him, so he comes to. So he doesn't come to life. Although I don't know if that um strategy works in this. I know it works in Resident Evil Three and Two, where if he's like a ran if you see like a random body on the floor, and if you can't run through it, that body become they he becomes a zombie. He comes into the zombie. I don't know if that mechanic works in Resident Evil One or the remake. I don't know if that works. I want to say yes. Oh shit! <gasps> that oh my god, that's a crimson! Oh yeah, a crimson head! Wait, wait, I think I think that's a crimson head. I think so. Cause he's red. Cause I know the crimson heads are. Is that a zombie? Fuck. <gasps> no, no, no. I know we. I know for a fact we don't face a crimson head until 
so, uh, until like after the uh, until I don't know when, but I know we don't face it like early. We, we face it like we face it like during the catacombs, I think. Okay, another tip. You see this key? Don't get the key. Do not get this key. Whatever you don't get the key, do not get this key. Because if you get this key, then this thing right here, the thing starts moving. This thing starts moving. And the only way for it to stop moving is to replace the key. Since we don't have the key replacement, we're fucked. <laughs> so whatever you do, do not get this key. Because this, this thing, this door, this place closes. And the spike thing starts coming this way. And basically you're fucked if you don't put the key back. So don't get that key. Wherever you do, don't get that key. It's locked. Emblem helmet. Well, okay, so I definitely need the emblem keys. I definitely need the fucking emblem keys. I need to find out where the fuck they are. Okay, so I don't, I don't know where to go now. I, I'm actually lost. <laughs> I'm actually lost, which is not a good thing. I think when I did Resident Evil Zero, I got lost twice. I think there are two parts where I honestly got lost. And I do not want to get lost in this game. I don't, because this is much scarier to get lost in. Okay, I know there's, there's a zombie here, right? Yeah, there's a zombie here. One, two. Okay, 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 okay. A little tip. Here's a great way to save ammo. If you shoot them, like, once or twice, they drops. Ah, the <laughs> fuck? Get the fuck off me, you little bitch! Am I, am I hurt? No, okay. If you shoot if you shoot him like once or twice and he's down, a tip is to get the knife out and just knife him the rest of the way. Cause that saves you a lot of ammo. Fuck him on caution! I gotta use a herb. I gotta use a herb. It's locked into the side. Fuck! Where can I go now? Oh shit. Oh shit, I don't like this. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? You take the golden arrow, what the fuck? Exa oh, uh, examining items. Yeah, I know this. I know how to examine shit. Examine. I. Um. Can I zoom in? The arrowhead looks to like be removed. Arrowhead. Arrowhead made from a sometimes referred to as a poor man's emerald. Um. Okay, so why the fuck do I need this again? <gasps> Wait, that's, is that ammo? Yes, that's ammo. Yes. Ha okay, so basically we don't have handgun bullets like we do with other Resident games. This one is just called clip. <laughs> we just get a random clip. Clip for the handgun, 50 rounds, yeah. Wow, I like, the, I like how it's detailed. Okay, combine. I'm still kind of mad, though, that we don't have, like, the, um... We don't have, like, the big item slot yet. We don't have, like, a big item space, which is, which is really bad for me. I need as much item space as I can get. You unlock it. Okay. It's locked on the other side. Okay. So, what the fuck is in this? I'm not ready to fight zombies. Okay, I already killed two zombies. I'm not ready for more zombies. I'm not... Yeah, see, yeah, see, yeah, see a shadow of the zombie right there. The zombie, like, right there. Do not kill him. You can easily, yeah, see, he's right there. You can easily just walk around him. You can literally just walk around him. Yeah, you can look, walk around the whole way. Give me this dagger. It is mine now. I'm taking this dagger with me. And... Is this locked? Yeah, no, it's not locked. Fuck, okay. It's not locked. I'm, I'm a little bit terrified because I don't know what happened. I know the next big thing that happens is the doll cutscene. That's the only thing that I'm scared of right now. Is that the dog cutscene? It's very close right now. I don't know. I don't know where. I know where it is. It's in like a long hallway. It's definitely in a long hallway. It's locked and sort. Okay. I know it's it's in like it's in like a long hallway, and that's when it happens. I don't know. I don't know where this hallway is, but I'm pretty sure I can find. I'm pretty sure I know what hallway it is just by looking at it. Locked on the side. Fuck. Um. Okay, so we don't go there. What about over here? What about over here? Is anything over here I can... What about this door? Is this door locked? It's locked. I'm... Okay, so I definitely need to find this emblem shit. I definitely need to find this emblem shit. And... Is there any other place to go? No, locked. No, oh. Okay, you know what? I need to find the emblem key. I really do. I don't care what emblem key it is. I need to fucking find one. I need to find at least one. Okay, so there is... A... There are like two more doors back there. I think I can check out. Let me, let me go back. I know there's two more doors back there. I can definitely check out. Um, where, where is he? Where is the zombie? Oh shit, there he is, fuck. Okay, you just walk around- Yeah, just like, don't kill him, just walk around him. Cause he, cause he, does, he doesn't turn into a crimson head, and he just doesn't- he, All he does is just try to chase it around, and it's like, very easy to dodge him, so... Let me just turn around, let me go around, let me see if I can get this. Let me see if I can get this. Okay, I know you, you push this down. You... Yeah, see, yeah, see, look, you're very easy to dodge. I, and I think it's slow, too. Okay, one more. Okay. And let me... Okay, he's getting close. Come here, come on. Come on, follow me. Follow me. Follow me, come on. This way. This way. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for him to come over this side. I'm gonna try to lure him over here so I can push this. I know you push that down, then you get the you get the gem you she's holding. I think you only use that until you get the red gem and the tiger statue. You don't need that gem until you get the tiger statue. So that's a plus. That is a plus. But the bad thing is, I don't know where the item boxes are. And there you go! Fuck you, statue! I didn't like you anyway. Uh, is this door locked? Is this door locked? It's locked. Fuck, I'm on the sword. Ooh, wait, I was like, wait a minute, I thought I could make it over there, but I can't. Fuck, I thought I could make it over there, but I couldn't. Fuck. Okay, let me go around the side, let me get the... Let, let me get the gem, and then let me save. I think that's gonna be for this part. Cause I, I, I gotta figure out what the fuck to do. I gotta figure out where the fuck do I gotta go now. I really do, cause... The only big thing, the only next thing I know that's gonna happen is the dog scene. And I don't know, I know it takes place in the hallway, but I don't know which hallway. I, I, I know it's a long hallway, I know it's a long hallway, and there are, if I remember, there are two, um, there are two, like, cabinets on the left side, and the right side are windows. And as I recall, you pass the first hall and nothing happens. I think it's in the second hall where the dog, when you go past the first window, and no, I think you go past the second window, and then the dog bursts through to the first window. I think so. I'm not sure. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. And that's what really scares me right now is that I'm actually completely wrong about the entire thing. <laughs> and like, I just run to a random room and then he just bursts in. That's the only thing I know. That's the only thing I'm scared of right now. I do not want that to happen. I do not want that zombie dog to go. Oh wait, did I check this area yet? I don't think I did. Did I check this area yet? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Let me go. Let me go back back down. Let me get the gem and save, so I can freaking call it call it a day. Okay, do I have enough honestly? Because, oh wait a minute. Cause I know this thing here. I know we get this thing here. That's actually something we pick up, but I don't think we need it now. And since I can't find the um, item box. I don't... I'm actually... I'm actually really terrified I don't have enough room. I'm terrified I don't have enough room. I really am. Okay, so... Let me go over here and save. Old temporary. You can save your progress. You think ribbon. Yes, you think ribbon. Loading content. Loading. Loading. Okay. So that's gonna be it for this part. Alright, that's gonna be it for this part. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you all in the next zombie-filled horror mansion part of Resident Evil. Take care, guys, and have a marvelous, spectacular, zombie-free day. So, I'm getting a core of owl feeling. Too long. Too much